Hey guys, Emily here. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing. And if you're not new, thank you for the continued support. Today, I'm here with a sit down video and I'm going to go over everything that I love and my one month of using my Apple Watch SE. This is the um, Apple Watch SE with the sport band. band. Um, I like it because it's really easy on and off. All it has is one of these closures and you just um, slip it on and off. So I'm going to take you through everything I like about it and how I use it as a disabled person. Now that I'm in and let's get started. Um, so one of the first things that I love about this, um, now if you didn't know, I went from having a Fitbit Charge 2 to having the Apple Watch SE. So it's kind of a big jump, but kind of not really. It's a fitness tracker, plus I can read my text messages on here, phone calls, whatever. Um, but one of the reasons that I love this one and that I want that I wanted the Apple Watch in the first place is that it the newer models have a wheelchair setting so I think anything up from the series four so the five six and the SE because um, the SE is one model down from the six and so it's a little bit I got it a better deal for this one um, but it does the literally exact same thing, just a little bit um, cheaper. Um, and I think it's worth worth the investment, honestly. I've used this more uh, in a month. I use it every day. Um, and anyway, I'm getting a notification about my activity ring that's telling me to uh, move. <laughs> so that's good. It gives you those fitness reminders if you want them. And if you don't want them, you can turn it off. It's very customizable. But the thing that has my heart and that I love it is that you can set it up as a wheelchair user. Finally, um, you can set it up. And again, it still might not be the most accurate thing, but you can set it up as a wheelchair user and it'll record your pushes um, and instead of your steps, so it'll record the revolutions of your arms on the wheels, uh, instead of your steps. So I think that that's a really nice touch of inclusivity for Apple, um, to do. And I really appreciate it as a wheelchair user because, um, you know, everyone's always like, oh, get your 10,000 steps. But in reality, how many pushes is that like do we still need 10,000 because like I know I use more energy than the average person just to do my daily activities of living and whatever so um I think that's a really good thing that they're trying to be inclusive um and so yeah that is one reason why I love it and I will take you through the rest of my day because the next piece that I want to talk about is why I love it for movement tracking and working out. So that'll be in two seconds for you. So this is the next part, how I use the Apple Watch for a movement. I'm doing a outdoor push pace running because I'm going to set up one of my spin classes for 45 minutes. So I'm going to do that now. One thing I do have to say about the Apple Watch is something that I love is all the workouts that I discovered that you can do with it. Um, this one is a 45 minute spin class from the YouTube channel Get Get Fit Done. And I love um, Brett, the instructor, and what he does. And then this is the end result. This is a 45 minute outdoor run push pace so like I'm pushing as if I'm running which I really am doing on the bike I'm a sweaty mess when I'm done and I so another thing I wanted to show you about Apple Watch that I really like is they have this um, fitness calendar that so you can see that I 
that I received the watch on the 10th and this was my information for Monday, May 10th. I had 229 pushes, two hours of rolling around, two minutes out of 30 minutes for exercise, and 700 or 72 out of 310 calories. Um, and then it progressively went up and up. Um, so like May 13th, I had 162 out of 310 for calories, four minutes out of 30, nine hours out of 12, and 794 pushes. And then um, I just want to show you as of recently, so today is the 7th, um, I have 150 out of 310 goal, uh, 38 minutes out of 30 minute move goal, so I closed that ring, you could see the green right there, um, 4 out of 12 hours uh, pushing, and then I got a rolling, and then I got 2,610 pushes and I did a 45 minute um, workout so definitely I've definitely showed up for my rings every single day for the last month and I really do love Apple Watch and just to wrap this video up I would say some of the things that I really enjoy about the watch are obviously the um, the wheelchair mode, like I said, the workouts that I've found and stuff, and, um, the sleep tracker and stuff, but, like, that's just a basic sleep tracker, like, I don't feel the need to go into that, um, and then some of the cons, I would say, is just, like, learning when to charge it, like, when would be good for you, um, at first, I had it mirroring my entire phone, and I do get a lot of notifications from Instagram. So it was draining the battery, but that only took me like two days to figure out. And then, so like on the average day, I charge it after I'm done with my spin class in the morning, um, which is like once a day. Like I charge it like I would charge my iPhone, you know? So, yeah. And probably another con people would think is the price, um, but I, definitely think it's an investment in my health and it's an investment in myself and it's an investment in self-care so I definitely think it's worth it if, and I've only had it for literally a month and I'm like obsessed with it so yeah but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you next time bye